up today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! Ah! Hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! to significantly increase voter participation on individual planets would be to install giant robots with lasers! Thus, if people didn't vote, they would be melted into organic mush. Thank you. Negative may now make a rebuttal. I'll grant that my honorable opponent's proposal is novel, but have you considered the fact that a typical armed robot costs 923,000 Kromtars? To purchase one for every voting planet in the Galactic Federation would cost over 19 Jazaxazillion Kromtars. Thank you, Charmaine. Since that's approximately four times the Federation's annual budget, I think you'll admit your proposal is laughable at best. Affirmative may now make a counter-rebuttal. Our counter-rebuttal is, uh, basically that they're totally smarter than us, so we give up. And the winners of the division finals are Douglas McNoggin and Charmaine O'Headley of Luna Vista Middle School. Yes! And my final announcement today. A hearty congratulations to our debating team of Douglas McNoggin and Charmaine O'Headley, who won their division finals yesterday. Next week, they'll be representing us at the Galactic Debate Championships in Morgotha Quaxi in D.C. So let's give them a big hand. Nerds! <laughs> all right, all right, very good. Back to your seats. Hey, guys, congratulations. Yeah, way to go. Sorry we didn't clap. We didn't want to be different or anything. Understood. Anyway, going to the Galactic Tournament is one of our discipline's highest honors. In preparation, I've been eating nothing but brain fishes. They improve my mental acuity and have the additional advantage of being delicious. Aren't you supposed to cook those first? Not if one desires the maximum effect. Oh, man, you guys must really want to win. This is our big chance to be heroes in the debate community. Even if people around here just think we're nerds. Aw, uh, come on. We don't think you're nerds. There's nothing nerdy about you guys. Come, Douglas. We must take it to the library to commence our debate preparation. Ah, uh, yes. So long, fellows. Boy, are those guys nerds. The nerdtessence of nerdhood. All right, let's see. The topic for this year's tournament is... Should a flat taxation system be utilized by two-dimensional societies? Why, that's perfect! You're an authority on duo-dimensional universes! Uh, and thankfully, you are well-versed in the complexities of tax regulation! Uh, yes, indeed. With our combined talents, we are certain to win the Galactic Championship! Nothing can stop us now! No, Douglas. Nothing at... <coughs> Charmaine? Uh... Charmaine! <laughs> Cute case of intestinal brain fishitis? I knew she should have cooked those things. This is terrible. It's horrible. It's a disaster. Charmaine will be recovering in her hospital jar for at least a week. Hooray, she's gonna get better. Oh, Kurt, you don't understand. I've lost my debate partner. Now I can't go to the tournament. All my dreams have been shattered. Well, gee, Douglas, you're a pretty smart guy. I bet even without Charmaine you could win. Yes, I probably could. But tournament regulations require two people on each team. I can't compete unless I have a partner. Maybe Maybe you could make an inflatable partner out of cardboard. I'm not sure the judges would accept cardboard, Kurt. Although, I'm sure they would accept one of you. Whoa, look at the time. I, I gotta go, uh, get a manicure. Yeah, I gotta go cure Manny, too. Well, Lloyd? No way. Don't look at me. But I'll do all the brain work. You won't have to say a single word. Sorry, no deal. We'll be staying in a hotel with our own television and room service. I already got a TV. And a mom. Don't you want to see the fabulous sights of our galaxy's capital? Sounds great, Douglas. I'm not going. Consider this. There'll be girls there. Girls who don't know you yet. Don't you want to meet girls? Look, Douglas. Girls who don't know me are always swell. Hotels are fun. And sure, I'd like to visit the capital. But see, if I do debating, well, people around school might think I'm a nerd. Ah, uh, the old nerd issue again. Sorry. I understand. It was, after all, only a dream. I have no right to expect my dreams to come true. Oh. The deal is, all I have to do is show up for the debates, right? I won't have to do any work. Yes, yes, that's right. I can see the sights, meet girls, and have fun? Absolutely. Well, okay then. It's a deal. Huzzah! Welcome to the world of debate, partner! 
Express to Morgotha Quaxi in DC will be arriving at Gate B. My goodness, son. Here we are, sending you off to the big city and the biggest tournament of your life. Are you sure you can handle this without Charmaine? Most definitely. Winning by myself will just make victory all the sweeter. Supreme. <laughs> it sounds wonderful. It sounds horrible. Yeah, I can't believe Douglas conned you into going to this thing. Actually, I've been thinking about it, and it's a pretty sweet deal. No grown-ups, nothing to do, just wild and crazy fun. Wild and crazy fun? Uh, I mean safe and responsible fun. I hope so, Lloyd. But just to be sure, I've requisitioned a traveling companion for you. Lloyd, meet Shapperbot 340XL. Good afternoon, young teenage man. Aw, Mom, a Shafferbot? That derf's big time! I would appreciate it if you avoided words like derf and big time in my company. Look, Lloyd, our busport to adventure has arrived! Young man, it's not polite to point. <sighs> Sweet mother of Mufton. Ironic grumbling flatters neither you nor your community. Wow, look at that! It's the Zincon Memorial! He's the guy who invented the five Crontar bill! And hey, check it out! There's the Waxigron Monument! Good old George Waxigron, our first pointy-headed rectangular president. And what do you know? There's the White Pod! Lots, Lloyd! Forget the White Pod! I've just spotted the most fabulous sight of all! What? What is it? The Midtown Hotel and Conference Center! The actual site of the tournament! Greatest middle school debaters of the galaxy! What an assemblage of worthy opponents! And some of them are girls! Nerdy girls, but they are girls! Keep your eyes straight ahead, young man! More girls! <gasps> oh my goodness! They're supercomputers 998 and 999! They won the championship last year! And now to see them in person! Isn't it thrilling? Say, I wonder where the pool is. I bet it's full of girls. For goodness sake, can't you think about anything else? Please try to restrain your sweet mother of Mufton. What? Well, can't you see? I don't see anything except for that ice machine. Young man, that's not just an ice machine. It's the foxiest ice machine ever. You boys go check in. <laughs> I'm gonna check her out. Here we are, Lloyd. Our very own hotel room. Man, this bed is huge! And guess what? It vibrates! Whoa! Check it out! 5,000 channels! You'll have to enjoy vibrating and watching television without me. Our first match is in three hours, so I think I'll brush up on my notes. Why bother? You'll win anyway, right? Oh, please, Lloyd. Must we be so cocky? Come on, Douglas. No one's brain is as big as yours. <laughs> well, partner, at the risk of sounding fat-headed, I must admit you're right. <laughs> <laughs> The pragmatism of utilizing a graduated configuration in bispatio-temporal economies is best illustrated by the two-dimensional commonwealth of Horizontalist Prime. Their median income is 13.65,000 krontars per annum. Therefore, a flat rate would increase their taxation burden by 72.86%. Let's see atop that, microbrain. Affirmative may now cross-examine. Query, are you using a Euclidean interpolation? Naturally. Aha! Uh -huh. I would remind my honorable opponent that in a bispatial temporal economy, only quasi-erratic functionalities apply. Using the correct calculations, we find their tax assessment would actually decrease by 19.57%. Mm. Very sad. <laughs> the winners are Douglas McNoggin and Lloyd Nebulon of Luna Vista Middle School. Oh man, that scrambles. Wow, Douglas, you really whipped those guys. The competition here is a lot tougher than back in the home sector. But no matter, I'll just start preparing for the next debate right now. Yes, yes, I will overwhelm my opponents with my preparedness. Okay, well, while you dive into your studies, I'm gonna go dive into the pool. See you at the next debate. And furthermore, all of this has been proven conclusively by Professor Polaris Zoink of Ursa Minor Community College. The affirmative team rests its case. Negative may now cross-examine. Query, Perhaps you could enlighten us as to which of Dr. Zoink's studies you refer? We refer to his dissertation in Interstellar Taxation Quarterly. Ah, I regret to inform you that that study was discredited by Dr. Flerksap in the Journal of Celestial Revenue, Issue 7. Excellent counterpoint. Except that that particular issue of the journal was subsequently invalidated due to inferior copy editing. Oh, um, I was not aware of that. My apologies. Nevertheless... <coughs> Time is up. The winners are Colony Kevin and Colony Josh of the Insecticon Middle School for Collective Thinking. Glory to the hive! I... I lost! I can't believe I lost! I spent hours preparing for that match while I worked
worked so hard, my brain swelled. Yeah, it did. Maybe you should get it massaged. They got a great masseuse over at the health club. Lloyd, I lost. Lost, do you hear? I've never lost before. Well, hey, you could still win the tournament, right? I suppose I could still be champion if I won every single match from now on. But it's gonna be a mammoth task. All that evidence to review by myself. I wish Charmaine were here. Yeah, that would help, wouldn't it? Hi, Hi Lloyd. <laughs> Hi, Josie. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Kukwaxoid. We're ready to go sightseeing. Are you coming? Yeah, uh, I'll be there in a second. Sorry, Douglas. Gotta run. We're gonna see all the monuments together. Yes. Well, I guess I'll see you at the debate. Sure, Douglas. And hey, don't worry so much. You can do anything you put your mind to. Believe in yourself. Uh, go, Douglas! Perhaps I can do it alone. Yes, yes, I will prepare harder. I will win every single match. Go, me! and many more, it is imperative that all right-thinking people concur with the affirmative position. Thank you. Luna Vista wins again. Boy, Douglas, all that hard work really paid off. Hard work indeed. I've never worked so hard in my life. But look where I got you. The championship match is tomorrow, right? Yes, that's right. So all you gotta do is win one more debate and you'll be the champion. But the problem is I'm not sure I can win it. Our opponents are supercomputers 998 and 999, and I've only got 17 hours to prepare. Ouch. And actually, I was wondering if perhaps you could spare a half hour this afternoon just to quiz me on some taxation facts? Gee, Douglas, I'd like to, but see, the thing is, I promised the girls we'd go check out the Senator Vizijuk's commemorative bronze plaque. I see. Look, I'll help you out later tonight. I promise. Good luck with all that work. Thank you, Lloyd. I suppose I'll see you later. Bye, girls. Bye, Lloyd. Hey, Douglas. Ah, Lloyd, you're back. Just stopped in to freshen up. Then it's off to the big dance at the hotel ballroom tonight. How's it going here? Oh, a dance, you say? Why, everything here is just fine, Lloyd. Are you sure? Because your head is really starting to look gigantic. Ignore it. I'm fine, okay? Okay. Actually, I'm not fine at all. Tomorrow is the most important day of my entire life. You promised to help me prepare for it, and now here I find you've made other plans. Oh, yeah. Oops. Oops, indeed. All week long, you've been splashing in the pool and gallivanting with a bevy of beauties while I've been here busting my cerebrum night and day. Hey, hold on, Douglas. We did have a deal. You were going to work, and I was going to have fun. Well, it was an idiotic deal. I need help. Can't you stop frolicking long enough to see that? I swear, Lloyd, you are the most selfish boy I have ever met. You wouldn't even be here if it weren't for me. Just forget it. Okay, I will. Fine. Fine. I'm going to go take a bath. Good riddance! I swear, Lloyd, you're the most selfish boy I've ever met. Where does he get off talking like me? Ah! Pardon me, I was just oiling my hinges. I want to look extra spiffy tonight. I'm taking free Zomatic 4000 to the big dance. You're coming, aren't you? Sure. Of course, Douglas is all mad at me because I'm not staying here and helping him prepare for his big debate. That is preposterous. How dare your friend expect you to give up your frivolous night of fun just because he needs help? Well, uh... Yeah. A good friend would be thinking about what's important to his friend, not just about himself. I guess that is one way of putting it. Anyway, I'm off to disco. <laughs> oh, all right, Douglas. I guess I could help you out for a little while. Douglas? Douglas! Your brain! It popped! Is that normal? Douglas? Are you okay? Sure, Lloyd. Me okay. But my brain not work no more. <laughs> <laughs> Is it bad? No, son. It's just cranial deflatitis. You see, the left side of his brain, the rational side, grew larger from all the mental work it was doing. Then it popped. Now he has no rationality to speak of. He's just pure emotion. Pillow fight! Pillow fight! <laughs> Will it get better? Oh, yes. No need to worry. It should regenerate in about 24 hours. But the championship match is in just I'm afraid he'll be in no condition to compete, but at least he's got a partner to cover for him. <laughs> Good luck. Oh, man. Here I am, your only partner, and I don't know anything about debating. Me no can win? Me sad. Sorry, Douglas, but hey, at least you'll still get second place. No want second place. Me work hard. Debate in kindergarten. 
Little tiny Douglas, big, big dreams. Well, even so, second place out of the whole galaxy. You no understand. Me want championship. See, Lloyd, in all of life, me think much with brain. Me smart, but no one care. But if me win championship, make me feel proud. And me feel for first time that maybe me have something special in life. To Douglas, to be winning championship are everything. I wish I could do something for you. Maybe I can do something for you. Yeah, maybe I could win the debate for you. <laughs> You funny! You no can debate! You no study! Well, then me study now! I'll stay up all night and figure it out! You may have lost half your brain, but you're gonna win that debate! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the championship match. On your right are the reigning middle school champions from PS Square Root of Pi, Supercomputer 998, and Supercomputer 999. And on our left are their challengers from Luna Vista Middle School, Douglas McNoggin and Lloyd Nebulon. Luna Vista, you have five minutes. Um, the opening statement for the affirmative is that the flat tax system would be a good thing for the two-dimensional peoples. It would be easier for them, and maybe it would save some of them some money, so they would be happy. That concludes the opening argument for the affirmative position. Negative. You may make a rebuttal. After reviewing the tax assessments for all known two-dimensional municipalities, our meta-analysis indicates that a graduated DCOM's projected future earnings of 824,121,395.72. This completes points 1A through 23E of our rebuttal. Affirmative may now give a rebuttal. In rebuttal, I would like to state that everything they told you about the flat tax is total nonsense. It's just a bunch of meaningless jibber-jabber. Complete hogwash! Grade A baloney! That completes my rebuttal. Very well. Cross-examination? Query, what is a flat tax? Um, it's a kind of tax that is flat. <laughs> Query, did you study the debate topic at all? Yes, I studied all night. In fact, I know I wrote down all about what a flat tax is. Wait, it's here somewhere. <laughs> I believe we have proven conclusively that our opponents are imbeciles. We are not. Look, Lloyd, look. They got stick on head. They look like you. You seem to be having some trouble. Are you sure you want to continue? Look, Judge, maybe we are imbeciles or whatever, but we're not quitters. Very well. Negative may now make their concluding statement. For our concluding statement, let us delineate the following variables. Using these holophasic projections, we can see that in the fiscal year X31, there is a decline in the ability that two-dimensional societies would be disadvantaged by the flat tax system. Thank you, Negative. Uh, affirmative, do you have a closing statement? Yes, sir, but my partner kind of seems to have eaten it. But that's okay. I think I could pretty much remember what I was going to say. We're all eager to hear it. <clears throat> in conclusion, I know it's not fun to pay taxes, but the money you give to the government goes to help people. And, um, well, isn't helping people more important than just having fun? In fact, yeah. You know what? I've kind of been dealing with this myself. When I came to this tournament a week ago, all I wanted to do was have fun. I hate reading and taking notes and debating and all that junk. But even so, I stayed up all night last night getting ready for this debate. But you know what? Standing here making a complete fool of myself actually feels better than all the stuff I did this week. It feels good because it makes me happy to help out a friend. <laughs> It's okay, buddy. It's okay. My associates, a couple of days ago, I visited the Zincon Memorial. I read an inscription on the wall there. Just a few simple words. Twelve score and seven years ago, our forefathers brought forth unto this galaxy a great federation dedicated to the proposition that a real friend doesn't just think about himself. A real friend helps his friends. Now, I might not be as smart as all you debating guys, but I'm smart enough to know when it comes down to it, Helping friends is just about the most important thing there is. Young man, that was a very moving speech. Thank you, sir. Unfortunately, it had nothing to do with the debate topic. The winners and galactic debate champions are 998 and 999 of PS Square Root of Pi. We are the champions. Initiate high five procedure. Hey, Douglas, you almost packed? I've just finished. Listen, now that you're back to normal and all, I just wanted to say, 
I'm really sorry I lost you that championship. Believe it or not, I was trying my best. I know that, Lloyd. And there's no need to apologize. I may not have won, but I'm still leaving this tournament just pleased as plasma. You're happy? But how could you be? Well, Lloyd, I always thought I needed a championship to give me something special in my life. But then I saw you humiliating yourself in front of all those people. I mean, really looking ridiculous. And you were doing it just for me. Goodness, I thought to myself, what a friend. Now it occurs to me that I've had something special in my life all along. Being friends with you is more valuable than a championship could ever be. So Zabazan Zinkon was right. He was very wise. And he also said, all work and no play makes one's brain explode. So, what do you say? We still got time before our bus leaves. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yes, buddy, I believe I am. Come on, yeah!